Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Shivatan Kamani, an integration technical architect. Many times when we do API and do some transformation, we get uncomfortable by looking at the namespaces. So we cannot avoid that requirement uh, where the input comes with a lot of namespaces that you might need to deal with. So here is a simple video on how we can deal with the XML namespaces. So in this video, we are going to see how to convert XML with namespaces to XML without namespace. And uh, we are also going to see how to convert such XML into JSON. And finally, we will be seeing JSON into XML with or without uh, namespaces. Let's get started. Here is a simple flow with the uh, HTTP listener where we are going to introduce data view and we are going to see different combination of transformation. So uh, we can take a look at the XML that we are going to convert. So I have an XML here. For demo purpose, I have taken from a tutorials point. And uh, here is the XML with a name, company, and phone number. So you can see here uh, uh, there is an XML a namespace, uh, which says COnt. And that indicates uh, the namespace belongs to this URL. So we are going to see uh, how to convert this XML uh, into JSON and XML without this namespace. So, and I also have a, a definition of employee XML without namespace. Here it is, I have just removed uh, the namespaces. So the reason why we need to have this XML handy is to uh, prepare uh, uh, dummy XML data based on the schema. So it could be either, uh, uh, most most of the times it could be from uh, uh, SOAP, uh, or Bistel service invocation, you will be getting XML with the namespace that you need to deal with. So you need to, based on the XML schema, uh, first it's always better to come up with XML data as an XML so that we can define metadata inside your transformation and which will ease your transformation better. We are going to see how we can define this metadata here. So let's go to uh, the flow. And let's do the transformation. Let's drag and drop. And uh, under the payload, you can right click and say set metadata. You can say add. Let me call employee with the namespace. And let's create the type. And type belongs to XML. And choose example. And let's go here. And let's choose employee XML here. And we have uh, retrieved this and select it. And uh, in the output, we are going to define the metadata. And we can add. So XML without namespace. Let's choose XML. Let's choose example. And uh, we are going to choose uh, employee namespace remove.xml so so here it is so now we got selected and uh, it will uh, make mule 4 makes our life easy by uh, metadata settings and uh, having both xmls available you can uh, simply uh, drag and drop name company and phone let's drag and drop company as well so you can see here uh, uh, the beauty of data weave is to have this namespace and it automatically deals with the namespace and then uh, brings the uh, output accordingly. Now let's run and see how the output uh, uh, we get. So let's go to SOAP UI and here is the XML uh, that I used to set the metadata. In, of, of course, uh, the data might change, uh, which is not going to be the same. Let's run this. So now you see the XML that comes out uh, without any namespace. So this is the simplest way. And uh, once you know that, uh, you will know the intricacies of how the data weave deals with the namespace. And then you can uh, use this separately and then understand better by looking at uh, this structure. So now as a second step, we will uh, see how to uh, transform this uh, into JSON. So let's, uh, that's going to be easy. So 
the XML we will change it as uh, JSON. That is it. Let us wait for the server to start it up and run. And now you can see uh, the same data comes out in the form of JSON. It is that simple. And let us go back and see uh, how we can change uh, uh, the XML to XML the other way around. So now we are going to transform uh, XML without any namespace and into with namespace. Let us see how to do that. So let us go back and uh, uh, set the metadata to XML without namespace. And uh, here we will set the XML with namespace. So let us remove these. Let us remove the existing data weave content and then let us drag and drop. Now you can see uh, by doing this way, uh, as I deliberately made this video in order to show how MuleSoft deals with the namespaces. So first it defines the namespace. So once you are comfortable, uh, you don't need to set the metadata and uh, by default you get familiar and you get hands on. So and then uh, you don't need and you will become a master of it. But see here, uh, the first, uh, the data wave is defined with the namespace, with the namespace whichever you want uh, and uh, this is a URL for the namespace. XML tag is given a prefix of this namespace which is separated by hash. So that is the syntax that you need to know to convert uh, from uh, even JSON to XML you need to follow the same syntax. So let us save and run this. And now let us remove all the or we will give the XML from here. Let us copy this. Let us go back to SOPY. And now we are giving uh, XML without any namespace and let us see what happens. So now you got the XML with uh, uh, namespaces defined. As a final step, uh, we will see how to transform JSON into XML with namespace. So as I uh, indicated, it, it's the same syntax followed even for the JSON. So let's clear the uh, clear the metadata and uh, so uh, let's take the JSON so let's set the met metadata from JSON let's add it let's call it employee JSON let's create the type type is JSON we'll follow example and uh, here is employee JSON The JSON is uh, loaded. So now let's drag and drop uh, name, company, and phone. Let's save it. Let's wait for the server to start up. And let's load the JSON example. Let me copy this uh, JSON. Let's go back to SOAP UI. And instead of XML, we will give JSON and we will change the type. And let's run. So now you can see this uh, uh, JSON is transformed into XML and XML is found with the namespace. So it's important to understand uh, uh, this is uh, this structure. So just uh, below the output data type, uh, you define the namespace and you use that namespace uh, just before the tag and uh, you will get the required output uh, uh, with the namespace. That's it in this video. Hope uh, you like these small tips and tricks techniques that's used in uh, Data Weave can help you in a big way during the real-time project development. So please uh, hit the like button and uh, subscribe my video so that I can soon come up with more useful and interesting topics. Again, thanks for watching. Bye.